just had to complete our consent waivers. Yeah, I did mine a couple days ago, but he still had to do one, so. Yeah, luckily we came to the light. See when we get in there. Yeah. The outside of the venue. Alright, so here's the venue. Okay, you wanna see what it looks like? Strange turn of events. Uh, looks like the fire department had to come for a homeless person. Oops. Yeah, it is like 114 degrees out here. Alright, we're getting ready to go in. Yeah. Alright, moving on up. Now we're waiting to sign in. Alright, there's our stuff we got with the VIP experience. We got a yellow card cups that are in the shape of like a can and then we got yellow card postcards and then of course the bag says yellow card ocean avenue and then check out our land we're waiting in line for the soundtrack hopefully soon it's like uh, almost five o'clock now yeah it is 458 to be exact See when we get in there. Alright, inside the venue, everybody. Right, getting some merch. Alright, nice to get a yellow card. I got this. I did get another shirt too, but uh, I think I'm going to support this one tonight. Why not, right? Why not? And then I also got a long sleeve shirt, which is black, which uh, I probably won't be wearing anytime soon. Outside of like flying, because it's summer and it's hot. So, anyway. What did you think of the soundtrack? It was really cool. I thought it, we were like literally like we're going right behind the stage, which I think is where we're going to be all night tonight. So, it's going to be a long night standing and uh, being in a crowded space, but hey, it's cool. So, um, show, we can go back in at about like 15 minutes. I mean, we can go back now, but nothing's gonna happen, I think, until 6. And the show starts at 7, so. But we wanna beat all the general admission people. you know and we went in there and we copied 2,000 flyers using company ink and company paper because we were so broke and that night we went to a huge pop punk concert that was touring through town and we passed out every single one of those 2,000 flyers to their fans that were waiting in line to see them I share this with you because 12 years later we're on this fucking stage opening up for that same band give it up for Yellow Cup job because I left the original in the copy machine. Well, fuck it, this is cooler.
Wildlife. Thank you so very fucking much for coming here tonight. This last song is called If It's Cool With You, I'm Cool With Being Through. single second of it. Hey, so uh, we, like I mentioned several times, at least 54 times today, we are Backstreet Boys wearing all white. That's fine. And uh, whatever, you know you love it. You know you love it. You're just like, man, I should have pulled that off. That's okay. Look at that jumpsuit. My gosh. He's about to change somebody's oil right after this show. That's great. But, uh, we are in Berlin and we just came out with a couple new EP, well, we came out with a new EP. It's where I play a song. If you know it, incredible. If you don't know it, just pretend like you do to impress the girl next to you. It goes something like this. This is called Two Graves. You have one more song to lose your voice on tonight. Thank you very much for being here. We are in Berlin. God bless and have a great evening. See you very soon.
the floor and ask my girl to take. life yellow card rock and roll show right now. This is real life. Thank you all so much for being here for the single biggest show we've ever played on our own in the state of Arizona right here tonight. It's kind of just like the rest of this tour. The whole thing is so absolutely surreal and unbelievable. We're playing these gigantic rooms everywhere across the country and uh, to our genuine shock and surprise they're full every night. It's just full. It's, it's just it's so set up. I mean, there's no seats left. Look up top. If you're down here, look, look how many people are up. Look up there. Hi, guys. Hi, how you doing up there? You guys did that. You guys did that. But forgive me if I'm, I'm not quite seasoned playing to people that far away yet. I'm working on it every night. You guys, thank you so much for bringing Yellow Card back to life. Thanks for having us here in Phoenix tonight. Woo! So good to see you. We got a lot of songs to play for you tonight. I'd like to introduce you to my friends. This is Mr. Ryan Mendez on the lead guitar. Josh Poor. 
Herman on the bass guitar, everybody. If you uh, were able to see us on what we then truly believed was the last tour we would ever do as a band, if you were at one of those shows, we had a good friend all the way from Stockholm, Sweden with us. And he is here again tonight and hopefully for many, many nights and many, many tours to come. You know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Sweden, Mr. Jimmy Brunfist on the drums. This is wild, right, Jimmy? This is insane. This is just, yeah, yeah. How are you guys feeling right here in the front, right here? You good? You feel good? Is there a little extra heat over here? I feel like there's a little extra face melting happening over here because there's a freaking violin right there! There it is! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as much noise as you can, Mr. Sean Mackin on the violin! <laughs> Alright everyone, as I said, we got a lot of songs to play for you tonight. We are here in part to celebrate the 20th birthday of Ocean Avenue, which just passed last <laughs> weekend. So we have a lot of songs from Ocean Avenue to play throughout, throughout the show tonight. We're not playing them all, but almost all of them. Um, and right now, normally some of these shows with seats and stuff, you gotta kinda like remind everyone, you know, hey, get, it's like, you, you gotta rip, it's a rock and roll show. But you guys are doing just fine tonight, right here on the floor in front of me, so I have no questions or concerns to file with you, but we are gonna speed it up right now and play a song called Life of a Salesman. Let's go. to uh, put some noise together for some important people that are out here with us this summer. First of all, uh, we have a crew working with us this summer like none we've ever had before. Um, I just want to show as much love and appreciation as we can to our crew for showing up and making this happen for all of you and for us every single day. It's hot. Uh, a lot of these shows are not inside with air conditioning, so uh, they're working hard and we love you guys. Um, all right, and then we feel like we put together a pretty, pretty cool rock and roll show for you to bring on the road this summer. So I want to start with some good friends of mine. If you got here early enough to see them, uh, I'm stoked for you. If you did not, please check them out on your way home or when you get home. I sang some vocals on their new record, Never Fade, and they're opening the shows every single night of this tour the whole summer. They're just, they're the best dudes alive. Please make some noise for This Wild Life! Getting together to make a record seemed like sort of a, a, a lot for us to take on at the very start, but we played that one show and we knew immediately we had to get in the studio and make some new music because we hadn't, I don't, I don't think that the band had felt the way we felt that night in Chicago in a lot of years. Um, I don't have time to tell you about all that, but all I can tell you is it was such an amazing experience for all of us and it led us back in the studio. And we have a new EP called Childhood Eyes, which came out on Friday. If you, haven't, if you haven't checked it out yet, or this is news to you, uh, I might be able to get you a little bit extra excited about it. Uh, Vic Fuentes from Pierce the Veil stopped by to sing on a song with us. How is this real life? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, and then there's this other thing. You should tell him about the thing. I'm gonna tell him the thing now. Uh, so the, the, the EP closes with kind of a classic yellow card acoustic song. Sean's over there shredding the strings and... Uh, 
I thought, I thought I'd, I'd at least reach out and see if a friend of mine would, would come and be on this song with us, and, and this actually happened. Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessional is on our new EP. Who isn't dead inside? Maybe you're jaded. Maybe you're blind and my the only one. Watching with childhood eyes. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for all the love and all the energy tonight. It's been amazing watching you guys. Thank you, thank you. Even you guys way up top. What was your favorite part? Uh, it was all really cool. Uh, I was actually really just trying to get like some cool pictures whenever they would actually come over to our side. Um, honestly, the whole show was really a lot of fun. Uh, and I can't hear because <laughs> we were so close. There were a couple times though, like it felt like the speakers were either gonna blow out or my eardrums were gonna blow. Like I really am concerned about this one. Um, I only have one good eardrum, guys. I don't really hear very well out of this ear, so uh, it was fun. It was fun. What did you think about it, babe? All right, so what did you think? What was your favorite part? Uh, yellow card, obviously, was my favorite part. Um, a lot of the opening acts, I wasn't that familiar with their music, so yeah. that was, it was okay. They were good. It's just I didn't know their songs. Um, the yellow card rocked. Uh, it's so good to see them after, you know, they quit and then came back, so super happy about that. They did play a couple off of Southern Air and a couple off Lights and Sound, so that's kind of cool that they played some of their other albums other than Ocean Avenue. A couple songs I would have liked them to play, but they didn't. Uh, but awesome concert all together. And if you like Ocean Avenue, uh, definitely try to catch them at the end of this tour because you'll get basically almost the, the entire whole album. album. Yeah, especially if you go to the rehearsal too, they play some of the other songs they don't play. So I loved it. So, what was your favorite song? Um, Believe and Only One are my two favorite songs. So, so uh, that they played. So we're going to figure out where to catch a ride. Yeah, because we'll... like this is absolute chaos right now. Yeah, and I got a bunch of streets blocked off. So we're not really sure where we're gonna meet our lift or where we even go. So we're just gonna kind of let this all kind of dissipate a yeah, little bit we're not in a rush so which is why we ubered instead of driving because if you've ever left a concert you know like seeing that like they're gonna be trying to get out of that freaking parking garage for probably at least an hour if not longer like how long were we waiting when we left imagine dragons we we waited a long time uh imagine dragons wasn't too bad it was probably like two hours when we left the Backstreet Boys, that was about four hours of waiting in that That was a lot. long time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see, we'll see. It's definitely, it's still hot outside, but it's not as blazing because the sun's not beating down on us, so we'll see. We found a quiet spot to sit and wait for our Uber. Hopefully it'll be here soon. What do you think about that heat? It's not as bad as it was earlier. No. We made it back to the hotel. As you can see, we're relaxing. We've already got our feet up. Yeah. Uh, trying to, you know, de-stress. Awesome concert, though. It was a lot of fun. Uh, there were a couple points where I think I was definitely very overstimulated, but uh, and it was really loud at certain points. But uh, it was my first time being in a concert. That was like a Christian concert. Um, being like in like general admission, like right by the stage. Yeah, she wanted to do it, so we did it. It was fun. It's been a long time since I did that, so... And it's, it was his favorite band, so... Yeah, and I think at this point I prefer seats. I'm, I'm one of those lazy guys that just wants a seat. I think we've gotten to the point where we're, like, too old to be in this section. I felt like uh, 
Mel Gibson or no Danny Glover from Lethal Weapon. I'm too old for this shit. Awesome concert. Uh, and if you like this type of video, hit that thumbs yeah. up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you guys for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby Ruth? Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.